All right, so the big day is finally here. The day we've been waiting on, the shipping container is being moved today. So this shipping container is eight feet wide, nine and a half feet tall, which is a high cube. If you're gonna do anything that other than storage, you should get a nine and a half foot tall one. It was only a few hundred dollars more. Um, it is 40 feet long. When you order your shipping container, you need to make sure you tell them which which way you want the doors to be so the swing doors for the shipping container are up near that truck and when i told him i want the doors to come off the trailer last is how you put it so if the doors came off the trailer first they would be on the tail end of the trail they come off the trailer last they're up on the truck end which is the way i wanted mine to sit as I have window plans for the end of this one here, and the view is on that end. Anyhow, a lot of video here, um, not a whole lot of talking, and hope you enjoy. This shipping container cost $2,850 delivered, and it came out of Norfolk. Oh, I got you. I'm in your way. So he has cameras in his mirrors and a television screen in the dash of his truck. So both mirrors have cameras in them for backing up, um, which he didn't tell me. So I was standing right in the, his line of sight right here. So I just walked down the hill and let him go to it, which he did a good job. Um, he was late, he was supposed to be here at nine o'clock and I think he got here at 11.30 and when he pulled in, you could smell the brakes. Um, he, I think he was behind schedule. I had sent him a video and you can hear it in the previous video I posted of me talking to a person named Greg. Well, that's this Greg right here. I sent him a video that this would have to be backed in this direction and asked him if there was enough room and everything else he never even watched the video. The first he had seen of this was when he showed up on site. And uh, I don't think uh, biking down this hill um, added to uh, his enjoyment, but he was a great guy. He did a great job and excellent service. So a fair amount of pulling up and backing up happens in the next little bit of footage here. I cut a lot of the glitchiness out um, just so it can move along a little steadier, steadier. But he still did a great job. I don't think I could have backed it in there as easily as he did. He only pulled up about three times as much as what I show here, which is really good.
so right here he's about got it exactly where I expected it would be and I would have to move it the rest of the way in the location but um, he decided that he wanted to back that thing all around the corner um, I think it was just a challenge to him and he was in a really good mood I would have been aggravated and nervous by this point but he sticks with it and uh, gets it on in here and uh, kudos to him So at this point, he's down in the, off the gravel, really can't get enough traction. I believe he could have put it exactly in the spot. He's right between my flags right there, but uh, we're gonna skip all the video of him setting up his trailer to drop it off there. And in the next scene, you'll see it starting to come off the trailer and one of the boards gets stuck. So right here, the container is stuck to the trailer. There's a two by four jammed up in it and he's trying to shake it loose, shake the container loose. And in this next little clip, you can see in the top left-hand corner, the two by four and the roller that are stuck. And when it comes off, you can see them fly off. I see it, I see it. There's a board caught up in this roller right here and the roller's turning over. Oops, the roller's the little orange thing that stays on the trailer. The piece that flies off is just a guide that helps hold the load stable when he drives down the road. And in this clip, it's almost on the ground. You can see I've got a log lying on the ground that the container is going to sit on so that I can roll it on up into its position a little bit further. But we get hung up one more time for one last little delay. So, and it is a great shape. There's only like three dents in this thing. The top's not mashed in at all. It's got practically no rust on it, no repairs on it. One little dent right there. And this is where they painted over the ID the names. That. That's where they painted over labeling. Camera's not focusing very well right there. So there it is. I'll take you down there and show you. I'll give you the grand tour. But first, I gotta show you these awesome flowers I planted yesterday. Look at this. 
hope it rains tonight because that one's not happy. But look how pretty these things are. Look at that face. Look at that. Couple of built it there to pee on them. Plant a little bank right there. But anyway, that's why not what this video is about. And the deer were very grateful for this little salad bar that I gifted them, and they showed their appreciation by it eating all it all. That happened too. Not sure what they painted over there, because I see a label and there's no damage there. But look at that, no damage. Didn't quite get it where I needed it to, but I set a log under each side of it so I'll be able to just move it right over and pull it right in here with the tractor nice and easy. So I'm not worried about that at all. But man, he did a good job. Oh, there's a dent I didn't see right there. Focus camera. And then there's a dent. I guess you could call it a dent. This is a, I can't even read that. O G S I'll figure out what that says. I can't read it. Logistic. Logistics. And it's got the placard on it so I can look everything up. Last time it was on the seat was in June of 2019. And here's the inside. Look at this floor. It is in awesome shape. This camera doesn't do it much justice, but it's in great shape. There's no gouges in it. There's duct tape on it. Why, I don't know, but there's duct tape on it. Great floor. Solid as a rock. This is a steel plate for trucking. And there's more duct tape right there. No idea why there's duct tape on it. Strange. Look at these walls. Nice and straight. And as you will discover in future video, when I go to put my bathroom shawl stall in, there is a dent in that wall about right here. Goodness, goodness. But we overcome that with ingenuity. The rubber gaskets for the door are in great shape. Needs a coat of paint, some windows and door, right? <laughs> Juju, what have you found to roll in? Hmm? 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 What is it? Probably bear poop. Actually, more likely it's fox poop, because I saw a fox here. Yesterday, about midday. Time for them to start having babies, probably like munching. So, he did get hung up right here. He ended up pulling him out with the farm tractor. And then, right here is where the back of his truck was. So, he's a good guy. He did a good job. Hmm, Let's see what this is. Oh, wow. Juju, where'd you go? Juju. Juju. Good boy. All right, same day. Here it is in place. Not leveled yet, but so I will lift it up. 
several blocks high so I can get under it to do whatever I need to do and lower it back down to 10 inches from the ground ish. It took me maybe a little over an hour to move this thing into place. Hour and a half. All right, it is in place. So there's from that angle. Plenty of room to walk around on this side. And lots of front porch area. It sort of looks smaller on the video. Help some Juju's in there. Right, Juju? Now I just got to get leveled up. But it's supposed to run tomorrow. Man, it tore up all my pretty grass seed. That's okay. They make more grass seed, don't they? Uh oh, where'd Juju go? Juju? Juju? Good boy. The river's hard of seeing and hard of hearing. And that's his can of dog food. She can hear that across the country. Right, River? River. 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 Hey. River. River. chunk of poison ivy in the tree. Okay, so that wraps up container day. Hopefully you found something valuable in that for if you decide to do this yourself. Um, it went pretty smooth, just have to be patient. Um, here's some video of some turkeys in my front lawn to wrap up the video with. Thank you for watching. So I would have liked to just had the sound of the turkeys out there, but there was too much background noise, so didn't get any of that. And here's one more little bonus piece of video coming up for you guys. Have a good day. I'm a Philly cat. If you could face a little bit to your left, the sun would be a little better for the video. Don't look at your feet, you gotta look at me. I can't. Yeah, you can. I can't. I'll hold on to that.
I held on to that. Did you imagine crossing that with the creek raging? Almost halfway. Can I come out? We'll joust. No, you stay off of it. Yeah, this is. I need a wider path. If it helps on the video, it doesn't look like it's very high at all. <laughs> well, you should get that figured out if you see how slow I'm going. So you're going to want to hold the camera, it won't look as high. Pretty far up there. It was tough to... And here we are coming back across the other direction. Need to what? I gotta go when the wind's blowing. I gotta go when the wind's not blowing. Oh, that's not good. Don't look at your feet. Don't look at your feet. <laughs> you did a whole lot better the other direction. Well then, turn and face it. Walk backwards. I'm a wealth of useful, useful information, aren't I? All right, you've almost made it. Can I shake it now? No, it's already wiggling. Yeah, I'm gonna get a picture of the cable bouncing. Okay, now I'm gonna shake. You ready? <laughs> Don't see. I would have freaked out if you were doing that when I was. Yeah, I knew off. better to do that while he's in the middle. You'd gotten beaten. I'd leave you, leave you right here, and I'd take off with your truck. I'd better. Ha